example, to the budget category. I think an overall dollar amount is what, what Los Angeles is worth. And like I said, it is possible that we provide that. I think we could have had that today in my hands, so I, I didn't go to that floor to speak to anybody. Do we have anything else? There's still about two minutes left for the question. Uh, no, basically, that was a question. 6 and 8, I wrote it down, has two from it. I paid. So if one's good, now you have to fill out another card for item 3. Cool. Yes. I don't mind.
ad hoc committees shall be comprised of, insert a number less than two of the majority of quorum, or less board members, and may include any interested stakeholders. So, right, we're, we are a STEM committee. It does say may, so at this point we don't have any stakeholders that are on our committee that we, uh, that we will use for our committee structure. As I indicated here, will be the three of us, Amanda, Angelica, and myself. So I want those so people to either take a note. That would be our official committee structure at this time. And we do not have any stakeholders, although it says we may use a stakeholder. If at some point a stakeholder is interested, we will leave that uh, decision back up to myself, the chair, or the president. She does the appointments. Right now, all we can do is either ask someone to resign or release members to comply with the bylaws. But I can't appoint any stakeholders. I don't do that. The president does that. In this moment, we're going to continue our junta with the members. All the members are directors of the mesa of the Consejo de Vecinos. In this moment, no tenemos vecinos participando en este comité. Lo regla dice que si permite que los vecinos sientan acá, pero no es mandatorio. Y como no es mandatorio, los que van a seguir en este momento van a ser tres miembros del comité, Yolanda, América y yo mismo. So there, that, will, that will take care of our committee structure. We have three committee members present. I'm going to make them clear that it is Yolanda. And I'm going to say also Yolanda. We're still on item four. Estoy preguntando si los miembros del comité traen anuncios. No tienen. Yo traigo poquitos anuncios. Para primero, hay un anuncio amarillo ahí en la puerta en español. Eso quiere decir que todos los ciudadanos que hablan español y no son ciudadanos aquí en Estados Unidos de América, al martes dan aquí clases para llenar los papeles para que puedan registrarse a ser ciudadanos de aquí de Estados Unidos. So, no, no, está amarillo. Ahí está la puerta, es un anuncio, ¿cómo se llama? Se dice, Grupo de Apoyo para la Familia. Entre depresión, desorden de probar, antiguas y pánico, autismo, abuso de sustancias, problemas de pareja, hiperactividad y esquizofrenia y otras. Uh, this is, this is for the family house service. Well, the one I was talking about was... Okay, the other action is, I'll pass these flyers around, they're having a reptile presentation on Monday, the 27th. On a Saturday, they're having a film screening of Freedom Riders here at the library. And also, they're giving information on assisting the youth in the community to help them pass their SAT scores at the, at the low high school level. It's not only are they giving sample tests, but what they're doing is they're giving practices four different, five different days, my mistake, five different days of preparedness to pass the SAT. So those will be passed around. Uh, not in Spanish. Van a traer animales reptiles para los niños que miran un lunes. También van a enseñar una película el sábado, como dos sábados, el 22 de febrero. Y también están aquí apoyando a los juventura que van a la escuela que pasen los examenes SAT. Uh, pues aquí están todos los anuncios de la parte de la biblioteca. Um, I, and the last thing is bylaw compliance. Any questions or concerns with bylaw compliance? You want to learn? Okay, item four is closed. Uh, we don't have no public speaker cards on it. So we now move to item five, which is filling the vacancy for stakeholder position. All the nominees need to be present. Uh, Tópico número 5 es para si hay una oportunidad que los vecinos quieren sentar en la mesa, se pueden anunciarse en este momento y se van a la oportunidad. La presidente anuncia el vecino que quiere sentar en esta mesa. Pero como en este momento solamente vamos a usar estas tres que son directores, no tenemos oportunidad para vecinos participando en esta junta. Si gustarían participar, hable con la Presidente y pregúntale porque si sí aceptamos que los vecindad también se, se participan en este proceso. No solamente con preguntas, pero aquí en la mesa también. Sí, yes. como hay ahorita muchos miembros de la comunidad, si hay alguien que está interesado, si puede estar la mano, nada más tener una idea, para cuando uh, la presidenta Juani, uh, si es que uno de nosotros decide no ser parte de este comité, ya tenemos una idea de quién va a estar. Sí, hay alguien que está interesado.
que hay, hay un, un vecino centralizado en sentar en esta mesa de comité. Discussion of Budget Category 400, Neighborhood Purposes Grant, NPG, of the 2013-2014 budget. Issues and concerns on the process followed with questions regarding the committee's recommendation. Or which committee's recommendation? What we're going to do is we're going to start with the committee members first. And you could give any type of discussion what you feel specific on budget item. I should have it here. 400. Item 400 is exclusively for neighborhood purposes grants. And then after you give some discussion, what we're going to do, as the agenda says, is I want community members and stakeholders to ask specifically in question format. Because what we're going to do is we're going to answer the questions. So a question would be, uh, let me see, the uh, when, when was this funding allocated? You know, and then we give a date. But what I'm saying is the question, all of those questions should be in question format, so I should write the question down and us as committee members, the three of us, will have to provide an answer. So that's going to be coming up with the same item. I'm trying to find the actual budget. What I'm looking for right now is a copy of the budget that was approved by the board so that we could know which, which item we're talking about. Do you have a copy somewhere? I don't have it, but I'll, I just have to provide it. Lo que estoy haciendo en este momento es buscando la budget. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Presupuesto. 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 Okay. Estoy buscando presupuesto. Aquí tengo una. Aquí lo traigo, ¿no? No más que traigo muchos papeles y está aquí en el puerto de una de estas. Y ya después que lo encuentro, lo podemos hablar. We could talk on this item not even without the, the budget because what it is is it's just one category. Budget 400. Enable the purpose of grant. So I'm going to, there it is. Okay, keep that. Hold that. That's the budget that was approved. I'm going to put this this way so I don't lose where it goes. What item category 400 is, is it's a category 400 for neighborhood purposes grant. Uh, Sección 400 en, el, en la presupuesta es uh, organizaciones que permitan pedir. I don't know how to say grants. How do you say grants? como recibir un dinero uh, aparte de la ciudad 
estamos hablando específicamente en la categoría 400. So, item 4, category 400 MPG of the 2013 2014 budget. After you take a look at it, yeah, you can take a look at it. I just wanted to be able, you can see it in that category, there's $5,000 allocated. So, that's what we're going to be talking about. So, I'm going to start with discussion of budget category 400. The uh, NPG of the 2013-2014 budget. So we're going to stop right there on the agenda. Just that first question. Lana, do you have any discussion specifically about that item? Yes. Yeah. Um, so to clarify to all of us, why is it that we are visiting that item? Is it because of the budget cuts
I don't know their name. Uh, she's going to call in. And you let us know if you wish to speak on this item 6 and or 8. Joshua and Court Justice. Court Justice. Court Justice. Okay. And uh, the next person we have. Michelle Forsantes. Michelle, is there a yes. Michelle here? Okay, Michelle, did you want to speak on this item number six? And if you do, just part of discussion, just put your question into a question format, and then we're going to write it down and answer your questions. Okay. Um, why, um, wait, I'm sorry, first time I'm in here. Um, why is, uh, why is the five thousand dollars taken, uh, or why did the decision be made when it's been like this for years for the bicentral committee to to be that five thousand to to a lesser amount when the five thousand has been of support for them that they can use it and it's something that they need. So why all of a sudden is a huge change when when it's something that is necessary? Not yet. I'm just making sure I have the question down correctly. But why is the decision of fifteen, of five thousand dollars of support being changed? Is that fair enough to your question? Um, okay. Being considered. Okay. Correct. Uh, and I guess adding to that question would be, and what do you see the community need to do so that it can be granted back to the Pasadena by Central? What do you can you might disclose in your position at the time? Do you have a, are you a bit? No, I just live in El Yeah, what does the community need to do to do what? To what, what do we? Yeah, what does the community um, need to do? Need to do for, for El Cerrino Crisis to get that 5,000. Not they, to clarify, right now, the $5,000 has not been taken away from El Cerrino, right? Yeah. Well, it's not about taking away. <coughs> Alloc it was only allocated to be approved for the board at that time. So the board hasn't taken a position on it because the presentation is still on board. So it's still in the process and the last year. We're gonna, no, we're, we're gonna they're gonna answer the question. We're gonna follow this up but you're you're giving input, right? So you're allowed to question. The reason why I'm bringing the question is right now because right now they told me Michelle has stated that why are we reducing the money to $5,000, right? So, so my clarification, that's why I would like to be clarified. Right now, the way we approve budget, the way budget is right now, $5,000 is allocated for the MPG, and the, it, it was a part of that decision was that the $5,000 was to go directly to Bicentennial, and the reasoning behind that was because every year, Bicentennial Committee comes to the NC, goes through the whole process of asking money, and board members were like, you know, why have Bicentennial, why have, usually ladies, why have the ladies come through this every single year when they are organizing the parade, Fourth of July parade, which is the biggest, everybody agrees, that is the biggest event and as I said I know it brings out the most community members. So that's how I recall this allocation and that's how I recall um, the reasoning behind saying these five thousand dollars are for us to so has that changed? Because it seems like um a stakeholder here I think I had some questions in regards to the question itself. I wanted to know if it was a hundred percent volunteer or if there was a payment if there were any payment. And I think we had that conversation with Janice about this. Yeah, before you get into it, I'm going to mention we don't have any more stakeholder cards. We have the two questions. Uh, Actually, I have a question here for the committee. Can you fill out a card, Scott? Well, I have to ask if I'm going to any more here. Uh, okay. And I would rather give it to the stakeholder. Okay. 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 Your question will quick stop. Just like right my question, my question to the committee here, which is on the first oversight of any funding proposals, is there a <clears throat> established vetting process that any organization that's asking for money, it, especially if there are 501c3, are basically in compliance?
trying to buy IRS clothes. Um, in the past, there was an issue with another incarnation of the LA 32 board where a board member was associated with a nonprofit, and there were some conflict of interest issues that the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment basically looked at the funding request and they were able to ascertain, first of all, the person who was the nonprofit who was asking for the funding was also had a board member who was going to derive some sort of financial benefit from it. Okay, needs to be an organization. My question to you three as a budget committee is that when any organization comes here, is that this, or, this committee is going to be responsible for holding betting that the organization is in compliance with the IRS codes and that their organization <coughs> is up to date on any paperwork because the last thing that any governing body wants, last thing they want to do is allocate funding to an organization that may have some questionable you know, um, fiscal issues from any governmental entities, whether it's State of California or, or the IRS. So I'm writing down, the question is, is the committee, our committee, vetting whether groups are up to date? Is that okay? Or in compliance with, with especially recognized organizations who are on file either with State Franchise Tax Board or the IRS and to make sure that their paperwork is up to, is, is up to compliance. Okay, so I continued it. Is the committee vetting which is, uh, whether groups are up to date in compliance with IRS files? So now and also make sure you add state account for to take the credit check. So then now, we have, now we have four questions. And I've seen a hand over there, and since we don't have any more cards, I take you as well. So feel free to ask your question. Hi. And, your, and your name? First off, I apologize. I came in a little late, so sorry, no. guys. No, it's okay. Um, I'm Betty. Betty, okay, Betty. Garcia. And I know you guys are discussing six and eight right now. I just have uh, a comment if it's allowed. Not in question format? Not in question format. Okay. Um, pretty much, I was last year's fundraising coordinator for the Bicentennial Committee. Mm -hmm. um, in part, I myself did volunteer work, and I was the one that was responsible to try to get a little bit extra more money so that we can fulfill the parade for the, com for the community. Um, I know the work, and I know the hours that can be inputted into this, which is very tedious as far as going into different organizations, having them plea, you know, ask for the support and the sponsorship. So when I heard that the money was going to be cut back based on all the expenses that we incurred last year with especially the insurances for the horses and everything that was brought into the parade, I know that this will substantially hit the committee as far as having certain items participating in the parade. So as a community member and a resident, I'm here to ask to please reconsider that and ask if the $5,000 can be reallocated because I do know the insight and I do know the efforts that went into place to make sure that this parade was a nice parade for the community and make sure that we have the insurances in place in the event of an accident like we have the previous years um, you know, we covered the community members, the safety of the participants and everything. So that's it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, can I clarify something? No, can you clarify? Where are you hearing that it's going to be reduced or it's going to be removed from the budget? It came up as a topic, but I don't think it's on the agenda that, we're, you know, that there's a plan to remove it. So is somebody saying that it's going to be reduced? It's been, it's, it's out there. You know, so there's um, talk, there's rumors, there's, gossip, talk, there's rumors, there's gossip, which is well, my concern. It would imply, like you said earlier, you, you implied it earlier that there's other non profit asking that when they come saying that this yeah. is trying to yeah. Yeah. cut the budget. Yeah. So I was wondering if there was something that was going to be allocated. This is what I want to clarify. We want to make sure we're sticking to the facts. We wanted the best, obviously, the best interest for the community. Right. There are some questions and concerns that I personally have. But um, we will get to that subject and then we can address it. I have a card for Kate, so in there. Okay. Um, I'm going to get to you, Jenny, but right before that, I want to translate in Spanish so I can catch everybody up. So, but you're next, okay, Jenny? Lo que estamos hablando es que estamos juntando los preguntas. Y todavía tenemos cuatro preguntas. La primera pregunta dice. 
que es posible uh, sacar dinero de otra cap categoría y poner más en la categoría 400? Esa es la pregunta. ¿Es posible mover dinero de una categoría a otra? The next question is why the decision five thousand dollars support the chain? ¿Por qué la decisión uh, de soportar cinco mil dólares está cambiando? That's from Michelle. The second question from Michelle: What does the community need to do for bike maintenance committee? La segunda pregunta parte de Michelle es quién es el tercer la comunidad aparte del comité bicentenario. And then the last question comes from Scott: Is the committee vetting whether groups are up to date and compliant with the IRS filing? Uh, Scott está preguntando si nuestro comité de nosotros los test estamos uh, revisando y vigilando aparte de todos los grupos que vienen a pedir si nosotros estamos uh, verificando si están están corriente con sus papeles de, del gobierno IRS taxes aparte de impuestos también so, esa es la pregunta de Scott so now that we've got that you uh, Jen, you're next, and then we're going to take the question parts from us because we've already taken the questions from the public. So go ahead. In, in question format or just yeah. Okay. So now we don't have any more questions, I would say, from the stakeholders, and we did go through the public comment parts for stakeholders. So now I want to hear questions from you. I'll start with you or you, anybody, and then myself. Six. We're still on item six. Uh, but now it's the second half. Oh, excuse me, i got to turn it over. Now it's the second half where it says issues and concerns on the process followed with questions regarding which committees is recommendations. So that's where we're at now. Now we're into the question portion, and then we'll get to the answers of these questions that the public provided. We'll answer those. We're going to answer the questions that we come up with ourselves. So Yolanda, do you have a question in question format? Um, I'm going to start with that. OK, I'm going to make a line right here. Uh, question in regards to, can I question in regards to the item on the MPG, the 400 regarding the vaccine? Any type of question, and then we, amongst our three, we're going to answer it. Oh, okay. So here is my question in regards to that. When it was originally allocated, we already know that the um, budget was done by a client. We have to and put it in question format. Oh. Um, who created the budget okay. for 2013, 12, and 2013? Um, and then it was allocated, to my understanding, was that the amounts put for uh, item 